Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. I took a bit of a break because we have a few things that, uh, mainly because I was going on a whole roll of doing these games, but now we have a lot we need to do. So many paralogues. Are those flowers in a vase new? Or have they always been there? We'll just listen in. They'll just be general things. Oh, Inigo, you're new. Today is a fine day. I can smell it. Watch me sweep the ladies off their feet. Good for you. Feeling good on this day. Next is Olivia and Crom. And she's sparkling. Hello. You're in a good mood. Find a new weapon you like. Not at all, but it's nice to be noticed. Why is she constantly flinching? And all these will just be random things. What's your one you dream? Helping us all attack what we attain what we seek. Huh. Don't you look happy trying to make the gloomy women feel bad? Certainly not. This morning's tea was refreshing, put me in high spirits. If I give you a cookie, can we team up during the upcoming battle? Sure, but let's not do anything reckless. A dead shopkeeper earns no profits. I like the like character designs in this game. Well, next things first, we'll uh, we have a decent amount of money, I think, so we'll buy like some of these extra like super powered stuff because we can. So why don't we? This killer lance will be good for our lance people. This killer bow as well. I guess silver bow. Why not? And we have a lot of other, like, shopkeepers that have popped up, as well as some Risen that we need to annihilate. Let's see. Arkwind, Silverbow. I guess we'll buy those. I will not, thank you very much. I have a lot of money. So what we'll do is, because we have a lot that we need to worry about, we'll buy Elwind, but skip the other things, because we don't really need them. Next, we'll fight all of the Diddly D guys, all the Risen. And then I guess we'll just randomly go about the paralogues. I, uh, see if I can find, like, the lowest one and then just go. And uh, I guess I'll bring on the parent that shows up in the opening cutscene, unless that was, like, a one-time thing. Let's see. Since this isn't... Who do we want to bring in here? Who do we want to level up? Hmm. Let's see. I guess Lucina, definitely. Yeah, I guess this is what we'll do. This is the team we'll have, since it's just against normal Risen. Doesn't really matter our composition. They're probably going to get annihilated one way or another. Like, it might be interesting to... I should have brought an ego along. I'm a fool. In that case, I guess we'll pair you up. Let's see. Let's see. Who do we want to pair? There's nobody you can pair with, so... Hmm. Well, obviously. But, but this uh, might be nice to, like, see... Who do I want to level up more? Hmm. I don't know. Might not hurt to do that, sure. I guess we'll come up here and claim the top. I could level up his spear some more, or we could try and level up. Yeah, we'll level up uh, Lucina. She needs to become a Grand Lord as well. Use that parallel Falcon. Annihilate him. Falcon. Falcion? There's so many ways we can say things. The strength serves me more than me alone. Indeed. Come up here. Who do we want to have this? We can have Shersh or Sumia. It's been a bit. Let's have Sumia win the day. Annihilate this fool. Send him flying to the air. Why 
What's this? Oh, I can't wait to show Krom. He will never show Krom. He is my man. Go ahead down here. Let's see. Do you need to level anything up? Nope. You're good no matter what, so... Yeah, I'll just use a normal lance to annihilate this man. I should have had Vike do it, because Vike needs to level up. Because he's a barbarian, which I think is a, a second seal class and not an advanced class. I'm a fool. I also need to manage my inventory. Yeah, we'll send Donald over this way. Out of the way of the most likely to attack you. You missed, you fool. Now get annihilated. Also, why is it people like cheering in... Why are the Risen here? The Risen are here, fighting. That guy could have totally fought somebody. Why didn't he? Let's see. We're gonna have Vike get some smack in. Because he deserves it. Yeah, I rule. <laughs> yeah, I rule. Let's see. Let's see. What do you need to level up more? Definitely your swordsman ship. <laughs> and Donald decided to prove himself this day. Yeah. Doesn't even get ten experience per thing at a thing. Time for murder. I'm slightly amused that they decided to use Lucina in the Diddly D Smash Brothers. Instead of Robin and Crom, it's Robin and Lucina. You'd think that it would have been Robin and Crom because I don't know, just it, it, I feel like it would have been made slightly more sense. For some reason, that guy decided not to do anything, so we'll just uh, try to level up Vike some more. He'll. Aside from Lucina, he's the one that could use it. <laughs> My lord. That takes the Risen out to the ball game. Next we'll come down here. And we'll annihilate these people as well. We'll eat their souls. Once again, who do I want to bring in? We should bring in Anigo, I think. Give you some chances. Because I'm um, I'm interested. I probably should have given you a better sword. Hm. Let's see what you can do. Let's place you down here, because why not? I'm not scared of anything. I was just practicing a few dance moves. I hope no one was watching. You are literally paired with Lucina. You whore. Let's see. We have four non-flyers that we can pair. I guess we can... Come down here. Uh, I feel like Donald should get it a bit more. He's a scary boy. He needs his greens. So feast upon the flesh. Oh, soul! He would have healed 11 points. Which, granted, is a decent amount, all things considered. Let's see. Pair you together, because we can, and we'll... Try a level up Vike. We don't really have much to worry about, all things considered. And then, you know what? Because I feel like it, the next thing we'll do... Is we'll check out... Bob -da -bob, the the experience DLC and see how it goes. That way, if I want to, I have more efficient grinding on my hands. If I like want to get somebody to a different like class. Apparently, this is feeding Crom his uh, spear points a day.
Everyone keeps missing. Nego really does need to level up. Then one of these days I really should also, like, give all the stat ups to people. There's so many stat ups I need to give to people. It's killing edge of this man. <laughs> it has a zero 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 on everything. You are perfectly safe, Anigo. This is not like those other bandits. You are safe. I wonder if his class was dependent on his father. I don't know. Kill this man. Class dismissed. You probably don't even have a teaching license. But he has Bullion. I also find it, now I find it funny, he married Cherish, and she was like, ha ha ha, you might have to go bankrupt to do all these things, and then he's like, oh, you're gonna make me go bankrupt, when in reality he's like, he's a barbarian, he's making all the money. This is wholly unnecessary. Why do you have that line, who are you? What do you mean? They're arisen. Why is that a line? Who are you? It makes no sense. Got a steel axe and a way of the bullion. Next, we will uh, quickly do an inventory glance. Let's see. He has a bunch of... I guess we're... Well, let's just go ahead and give him a... Uh, yeah, but he has a bronze lance, and he's not really going to really super need it. It's not going to break all that much, yeah. I guess I could give him, like, an iron lance until then. Share. you have axes galore and a bronze... Diddly D. Vike is doing good. She has lances galore and a heal. I guess we could give him a steel axe just so that he can use it if he needs to. Libra, let's see. You have steel axes, ward and mend. Sully is decked out. We'll take that and we'll give you. An iron sword. Well, actually, you can use a steel. We'll give you a steel sword just so that you can. Anigo, you are C, so we shall give you a steel sword as well so that we can swap. In fact, let's equip that to you so that you'll default that instead of your killing edge. Uh, we already did you, uh, Frederick. You're doing. Uh, you're Frederick. We don't need to worry about you. Uh, you definitely uh, need more books. Let's see. We'll give you an Arc Thunder. And let's see, is there anything? I guess we did break up some Elwins, yeah, so you should be good. Um, you should be good, like, uh, magic-wise, even though you don't really have much magic of wealth. Uh, I'm doing good, I would say. We need to level up your swordsmanship more. Henry exists. We need to bring Nawi and Pan in more, yeah. I think everyone that's pretty much everyone. Now we're going to go to the experience DLC, just so that we can experience that, and that's like can be a grind spot if I so choose. Let's see. Exponential growth. Let us see. Will it be Victor and... Victor? The ground's there. Good. Hmm? Where are we? Ah, <laughs> oh, bonjour! You are in the Earth Realms, a place where all your fantasies come true. We have more exotic adventures here than you can shake the stick at. Do not worry, I will not tell the wives. Huh? Uh, Anna? Are you feeling all right? You seem different. Nonsense. Do not confuse me with some real-life acquaintance. I am très différent. Maybe how you say, autonant of one you know? Honon. Just... <laughs> Why did they go all out? They didn't... This seems silly. Oh, I see. I think. 
However, I am in need of the help. Could you just the destro uh, destroy the entombs that are pouring out the ruins? They've been raiding our village and stealing all the crops from the fields. What? That's terrible. Wait, there's a village inside the ruins? How is that even possible? And wait, what kind of a monster zombie thing eats vegetables? <sighs> they are alternate too, Sherry. It is the alternate world. Right. Well, um, look, we have urgent matters to attend to in our own world. If we lend you some weapons, I'm sure you could take care of a few corpses. Mm -hmm. Moi, I am just the poor defenseless woman pretending to have the ridiculous accent. I cannot actually do the fighting. Uh, a pity if you cannot help, I will just have to wait for the next passerby. Meanwhile, the villagers will starve. I can picture the lamentations of the women and the children even now. Oh, God. Now you're starting to sound like Hubba. That pumpkin, he was like the sun to me, and now he has been eaten. Mama, the children in the other villages have potatoes, but not me. Mon et moi, I warned you not to dress like the tomato. Show me those bite marks. What? Why would anyone... That doesn't even make any sense. Fine, fine. We'll kill all the damn creatures for you, all right? Whoa there, buddy. Take it easy. I just work here. Besides, it ain't all charity. You'll gain plenty in the bargain, too. <laughs> Taking out the entombed will <laughs> learn you a lot more than you know what. Hmm? No, I'm afraid I don't know what. <sighs> ah, well, you'll figure it out. You better hurry, though. Those entombed are sure to be dashing for the exits too sweet. <clears throat> that is to say, too to the sweet bon chance, tee -hee. Lay sigh. <laughs> I wonder... Like, oh, I can only bring a certain number of people along with me. Well, I guess, hmm, I don't know how difficult they'll be. Ah, eh, Lucina has a decent amount. Let's see. What do I really want to bring up? Maybe bring in Pan. So we can see if we can, like, just do stuff. But view the map. So I'm going to assume... Oh, so that's where these guys are kind of meant to come from, I guess. And they're all different levels, but they should be annihilated, unless they have skills that just utterly annihilate. There is the Odd Rhythm, Underdog, Tome Breaker, Lance Breaker. All right, so these guys are going to be slightly annoying. Well, I say, thing be good, let's go. Hmm. Doesn't really matter, so, yeah. Let's see. Since I want you to do it most, we'll pair you up just so we can get closer and... I probably should have, uh, like, split them apart there. Oh, well. I like the music that's playing. I think I'll just keep it how it is and then just swap between them. Kill this man! Does no one find it strange that there are so many corpses waddling around? Uh, not that Vi can't handle it. The Vi can handle anything. We'll see who puts more of you back in the ground. Cromer old teach. <laughs> Did he just say it looks like old teach just got tenure? So yeah, this is a very nice... <laughs> teach didn't... <laughs> I only increased my defense by one, so that you wouldn't hurt. Hmm. I'll put up a little bit. I'll move you up just so you can grab the sparkly. Woo! A bit extra practice is tougher than a plow in the fields any which day. Time to die. Wait, you you shall not pass. I may not be the deftest knight in the group, but I can put you in your place. Now regurgitate those vegetables or... Uh, wait, no, don't do that. You are a fool. Now kill it. Oh, 
I wonder if the, like, entombed here are, like, meant for this place and they just got added to the pool with the DLC or what. I'll send her over here just to clear out. Ah, oh, I should have used a better weapon. He won't die. Oh, counter? That's scary. Note to self, look at fucking things. All right. Well, obviously we want to take out this one. Damage taken from adjacent is dealt back to that foe. So we'll just have to see about it. It looks like you have Axe Breaker, so we're going to use a sword. Remember to stay hydrated while you fight zombie people. You done picked the wrong day to mess with farmers. Our crops are like our babies. We even give them names. You hear that? Vegetables have souls, you darn baby killers. Ah, charge! So you, only you get to devour their souls, I guess. Counter seems like an overpowered <laughs> skill. I'm also going to assume that it is only for enemies. I will never be able to get it. This is going to be my bona fide place of fucking yes. This little piggy's learned some new tricks. I have a part of me kind of wants to grind here for a bit now that it's available. Let's see. Let's go ahead and annihilate you. Entombed in the Out Realms? They must have come for my future. Gods, their journey was rougher than mine if they've turned to vegetables. Such a natural suffering must be ended with all due haste. Hilarious. I was gonna say, Lucina, if it managed... Oh, uh, Aether, I was like, wait a minute, you can't get a crit in this. Yeah, this is a nice place to level up. Kill it. You. you dead spawn like vegetables, hmm? Then perhaps you like carrots. That pathetic look on your face seems to indicate otherwise. A shame. For a moment there, I thought we might get along. Would be borderline hilarious. They're so slow. Get drop kicked, goo man. I suppose you tried. I should have come here earlier, I think. Granted, the counter. Well, the counter is kind of like. Eh eh. Just a thing. Let's kill you. Get annihilated. Yeah, I rule. It's like even though they don't get like full like payouts, they're still nice. And I think they'll get out at the next turn. Yep, at least most of them will probably. On a guy that has yet another counter. And unless I... Nope, uh, that would be death of me. That's kind of mean that they don't, like, kind of inform me of that. Let's smack you down. Oh. For some reason, that one didn't pay out as much. Rude. But still, the ones that do pay out a lot are decent enough. Darn, she could have almost gotten them. This one, oh, but it wouldn't die. And it, uh, because it has that, that's mean. How dare you? 
Let's see. I'm going to assume the ones with the highest amount are worth the most, so we'll annihilate you. Get drop kicked. I do believe that most, if not all of them, will escape now. Hmm. I guess we will knock this one down to one and let Lucina pick it up. Although this is might be this might kill Pan, come to think of it. So basically, yeah, that one is like an eternal bastard to kill. This foe is too strong. Don't think she's ever been annihilated. It's only because of counter, which is a kind of bullshit. Fine, we'll kill you. There we are. I say that's kind of bullshit, game. Once again, makes me wonder if DLC can kill your units, which I don't think they should. Uh, yep, that's it. Et voila, the tomb done no more. Indeed, and we're all stronger for the experience. It was actually. Oh, it's nice, but the tomb spring up like weeds, we. So come back any time you're looking for the challenge. Not that the villagers will weep tears of joy to see you again. Really? Right, because we can save their precious vegetables. Vegetables they somehow grow amidst stony ruins. Vegetables threatened by vegetarian monsters. Mm -hmm. Exactement. See you again soon, monsieur. Utter madness. Definitely interesting, though. It is tempting, but we need to actually go do things. Paralog 14. Paralog 16. Paralog 15. Paralog 8, that's the lowest one. Paralog 12. Need to come all the way over here to see it. Uh, Paralog 7. Never mind, that is the lowest down. I doubt the number actually matters, but... Paralog 9, 10, 5, 11. Alright, so we'll do this one. Sage's Hamlet. Who is the parent that must be brought along, I assume? Scion of Lajon. Ah, so Lissa, Lissa's descendant. <coughs> Excuse me. Blah. Say, Lucina, I'm still around in your future, right? No, you're probably dead. You are probably dead. You are very much, most definitely, dead. <laughs> Everyone else is dead. Why wouldn't you be, you fool? So, um, what am I like? Well, well, you're warm and kind, for starters, even amid the darkness and desolation. Your smile serves as a beacon of hope for all those around you. <gasps> oh, jeez. I better get cracking if I want to live up to that. Oh, I know. Do I have children? Very well. You have a son named Dwayne. <laughs> this, I'm kind of glad that I did the other one first, because it caught me off guard. This one just outright comes and confirms it. Oh, oh cute. What he's li what's he like? Don't you see? He's... Well, he's co quite colorful. Mm, I'm not sure I want to know what that means. Oh, wait, one more thing. Does he have... Yes? Mm -hmm. No, never mind. What? Are you sure? Right. So I just remembered I promised to help Crow with something. Bye! Huh? Lissa? What did she want to know? Boss. This is it, boss. The treasure's here. I'm sure of it. Hey. I'm all right, woman. Speak. Where do you put it? I've never heard of no treasure here. Honest, I haven't. Oh, then I guess we're done here. She's useless, boys. Kill her. Right. Aye, boss. Freeze. Halt, fiends. The devil are you? Hmm. One chosen by forces beyond mortal comprehension. 
see how my sword hand twitches and hungers for justice. Leave now if you value life and limb, for I cannot stay the hungry hand. This guy's got rocks in his head. All right then, boy, guess you're the first to. Grash! I tried to warn you, foul villain. The hand cannot be denied. Thank oh, you. thank the stars. You saved my life. Wait. That stance. <clears throat> eh. Who are you? Be gone. I am the wolf who howls for justice. The eagle who cries for love. <clears throat> a chosen warrior come from the future to bring hope to a dying world. I am a Wayne. Now atone for your deeds to etern in the eternal hellfire of perdition. Radiant Dawn! <clears throat> Bless you, sword hand. Now's no time for games. You escaped fate this time, rogue. But remember, justice always prevails. What? Wh huh? Wow, that guy's really weird. Wait a second. What? <laughs> I knew there were rocks in your head. Look lively, boys. Ignore the dolls and find us that treasure. Pinch every that shines and make that for the hills. Who are you? No, you don't. Not today, ne'er do wells. The legendary blade, Mistletane, is fated for my twitching hand alone. What? I'm so lost right now. What was he even tr talking about? Never mind, let's just kill the bandits and I'm sure everything will sort itself out. So, there's a sword on this map, it seems. Let's see. I think that we will take Frederick out and put Lissa in. Because maybe she can talk to him, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how this works. We'll take Panel on because we can. And I guess we'll throw me in because we also can. And we also probably need all the help we can get. First things first, we will save. Hmm. What? Oh, there's just a chicken running around. Wayne's over here. A sage that I guess that we need to talk to. There's also sages down here. Huh. Alright then. Well, first things first, we will make it so that she can come down here and at least see. I'm a Mew, so we're gonna put these two together. Just because we can. Okay, what we need to do is put all the, like, far reachers down here. Hmm. Then I guess what we might do is, like, I don't know. I don't know. But I think that is how things will go. Let's see in diddly D. I'm going to assume that we need to get to the sages before the dudes do. Maybe. Alright, boy. We can talk! Huzzah! Huh? Oh, hey! It's you! Thanks for helping! What? Mom? Huh? Uh, what? <clears throat> Blessed mother! I've crossed oceans of time to find... Oh, forget it. I'm your kid from the future. Look at the signet ring upon my finger. Behold! A perfect match to yours! Unique in all the world, and yet here lie too. Proof positive my claims are true. You just stole that from Lucina. Who did what now? Hold on, slow down, back up, start again. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Look, the important thing here is that I'm... Oh, God, Zawain. Hmm? Huh? Mm -hmm. That's your name, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed it is. And none have ever been prouder to bear it. For it is the name you gave me, Mother. I've come to part the dark clouds that hang forebodingly over this era. That is amusing. Now we will separate so that Owain can, like, go with her because amusement. Ah, but at the same time, we'll go ahead and get a move on just because we can because I want to get down to there. Let's see. Lucina and him. Go ahead and get some smacking on. Kill these guys is what we can. And a level up for an ego. Montoya. Let's see. Well, since you're the only one that's in range. 
And I feel like this would be good, and that leaves you. Smack this man down. <laughs> Not that hard. A normal one would have killed him. Poor man. Well, we also need to be careful because, actually... Hmm. Come to think of it, we actually should be careful because... Presumably, we need to leave just enough of these guys alive that we can't, li like, we don't, like, accidentally run out of people to kill. But oh well, uh, let's just, let's just use a wind. Get winded. Get double winded. I think Vike should get this. More level up for the Vike man. For all teach. <laughs> you bitch. Don't kill him. You can't. Good. Okay, so they're kind of going after the sages. Kill him, Owain. I wonder what- I forgot to look at your class. But now I'm disappointed that I didn't have Inigo interact with his mother first. Granted, I didn't know. I feel like this should have been closer so that they could, like, interact more. So we need to kill dudes and get there first. Guess we'll come down here. Let's have Krom get a hit in. Well come down here to a Wayne. So we can talk to this guy and uh, I guess find the hidden treasure. Hail, traveler. You're a kind soul to fight for strangers. So here, you must take this. By the ghost of Ike! I found it at last! The fated mate to my sword hand, the divine blade, Mistletane! Hmm? I'm afraid this is a blade of extremely common makeshare. I was using it to dig a well, but I figured you might. Let's Come, Mistletane! Destiny beckons! Well. I also used it to cut small vegetables before it got dull. Uh, hello? The blade of legend is song. I feel its power coursing through me. At last, my sword hand lays claim. Come, Mistletane, destiny beckons. The rest of these rogues are ours alone. Is it any actually special? Awain only. Skill plus one. The apocryphal blade. He has vantage, lethality, and rally. Ah, interesting. But okay, skill plus one, I guess. Interesting. Let's team up, because we can. Let's come down and smite some people. Oh, that would actually kill with magic. Then let's kill with magic. Get blasted by magic. Get blasted by even more powerful magic. It's like a meteor from the skies. And to level up your magic skill. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do it again! I keep forgetting that you can do it again. And apparently you're just hungry for death today. Imagine if that activated just again and again and again and again. You know what? Let's have Pan get a kill in. Annihilation for all foes. You missed your magic. Now die. Drop kick. That's hilarious that it's a Wayne only. 
Um, that makes me wonder if only, like, Owain should talk to him. Uh, he only mentioned the one thing, so let's just do it. Hail, Hail traveler. traveler. Thank you for coming to our aid. Please use us to treat your injured. It's an old recipe, but well effective. Old recipe? It's a freaking magic diddly dee. Come at me, fiends. Yes, feed Pan. So she might annihilate you all. You shall die to the tog wall. And I need to get down to them, or else he'll get annihilated. He's gonna get annihilated in record time. Holy shit. Kill this man for daring to steal your drip. Thanks. He's getting close to leveling up. We're getting a lot of only one stat ups. That is worrisome. Die to the boy hero. Phew. Yes, feed him more! Although this makes me worried that we're not going to get to the last stage. Never mind, they're going to attack from afar, therefore we're safe. I guess you can come up here, grab this. Hmm, humans do seem more comfortable around me when I pretend to have buck teeth. That's odd. I get I guess they're too too slippery of Oh, that's just our attack range. I'm dumb. For some reason I'm very dumb. Eh, I guess we'll just keep going so they'll attack you. Survive once more, ya old man! And now you will die to the hand of a Wayne, who's a dodgy boy. I'm invincible. I am invincible. And my true power has been unleashed. Would you kindly die? The great Aether! And level up for Crom. For Chromium. No one can stop me now. And we'll just come up here and grab the treasure. You're a welcome sight indeed. I'd never given up I'd near given up hope. This is one of our village treasures. May it help you in keeping us safe. Spirit dust. Nice. Now we're just gonna annihilate you now, because you're ugly. I keep forgetting to look at his class. He's a Myrmidon! How does that work out? His mother was a cleric sage, and his father was a thief assassin. None of this makes sense. Dropkick this son of a bitch. It was your time. I don't think it was. I think he just died. I think that's just what murder is. Uh, oh, for some reason I just thought we were. <laughs> I forgot about Vike. He's gonna throw an axe. He's gonna throw some fire. They're gonna throw some ruin. 
Not not the security breach DLC. Fuck. <laughs> that would almost kill. The treasure's mine. Cross me and I'll decorate this place with your bones. Please miss. Bastard. Did he heal? Did he heal us? How sweet if he did. Because it said ally, and we don't have any allies. Secret art, binding blade! Yeah! Yes, I can feel the extra training working. I don't believe you. We're just gonna bash your face in, because you're ugly. Huzzah! I do find it funny they kind of like knock their ally out of the way. Full body slam. Let's see. Would almost kill him. Hmm. What about you? You would kill him. So let's kill him. Go flying. Mine! It's all. Mine. <laughs> no more holding the others back now. I completely lost his accent. I guess since everybody is going to be able to... Let's just go ahead and heal this guy and level up her staff ability. Slightly. Got it. That's going to take forever. I should just hoard the books for you. Well, let's give a Lucina a chance to kill. Aether time. <laughs> Welcome to Murdersville. Population, you are dead. Well, it doesn't really matter. So let's fly up, swap, and blast you with wind. To bakery. Get crit, bitch. How do you have a crit chance when you have zero attack and zero hit? You do not make sense. Nothing makes sense in this wacky world. Thank you. We owe you a great debt for protecting our village. Truly, from all of us, thank you. Where did he get up? Uh, where did he get off to? Lucina said she saw him go this way. Uh, maybe I should just forget it. If he doesn't have one either. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Let's have all your coin, girly. Unless you want to lose that pretty hate. Stay back! Free. No one hurts the mother of Owain! Sacred stones! <laughs> Why do you keep <laughs> shouting out things? Mother, are you alright? <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine, I'm... Holy crow, your arm! This, ha! It's not but a torn sleeve. No, I mean, holy crow, look at that thing on your arm! <laughs> Sorry, guess I should have shown you before. It's my brand. The one carried by House Elise. So no more need to worry, eh? But then, you know, that I don't... Yeah. That your brand never surfaced? Yes, you told me as much. You said it always weighed on you. You should have seen how happy you were the day mine appeared. You were sobbing and laughing for an hour without pause. I was kind of hoping to grow out of the crying thing. Yeah, well, no more worrying. It was by chance alone your brand never surfaced. We're all family, linked by blood. You really are Krom's sister. My brand proves our lineage. Thank you, just thank you, Wayne. You're welcome. And as scions of the Firo, it falls on us to ensure my dark future doesn't come true. Come, mother! We shall fight together! Oh, uh, go! Oh, too much passion! Sword hand! Getting hungry again! You know, maybe you should have that looked at. What does he mean, sword hand getting hungry again? Is it just cramps? <laughs> I don't understand him. Alright then. That sells killing benches! Holy! And still, it sells all a decent number of swords. Nice. Let's see, that was number five. Number nine. I don't think that we have... Did we already do number six? 
because that's a 13. Yeah, we already did number six, so now's number seven. But we have some diddly D. Hey. There's something I need to know, Mother. Right. And what's that? <laughs> the name of your weapon. Huh? My weapon? Why? My what manner of son would I be not to know the name which God is, Mother? Teach me so I may whisper it subsequent in prayer and keep you ever safe. Huh? Oh, you meant that sort of name. Huh? <laughs> that holy slayer, saintly dragon, blah, blah, blah kind of stuff you're always talking about. I was wondering if you really didn't know the word staff. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I should be offended by both those statements. But yes, that sort of name. What is it? It doesn't have one. What? You've granted it no name. <laughs> right, I mean, why bother? Chance Mother! A name confers a soul onto an inanimate object and grants it power. It transforms a mere tool into a divine instrument possessed of limitless potential. Considering that a supposedly dull blade that was used for digging a well and cutting vegetables before it grew dull was able to get to a class C weapon that he becomes more skillful when using, maybe he has a point. See, there's the blah blah stuff I was talking about. I'll give it some thought, all right? But right now I've got to get going. Bye. Uh, Wait, mother. I braced for an insufficiently astonishing name, but this is worse than I feared. This may require drastic measures for her own good. Oh, Wayne seems like a funny little man. I like him. A foul sin sings in the air. My sword arm throbs dully. What's this? Blood raging. A different sort of blood rage than usual. Hey. Wayne? Is everything all right? Stay back, father! You mustn't come any closer! Hello. Why? Did you catch something? Do you think you're contagious? The blood of heroes that courses through my veins hungers for fresh prey! If you draw within striking range in my present state, I cannot guarantee safety! I beg of you, stay back! Do not force me to topple my own father! Do we have to? Uh, I'm confused. Are you under someone else's control? Did someone curse you? I, the curse of my bloodline's uncontrollable power! It gnaws at my soul! Down, down, I command thee! Be calm, sword arm! Stay raging blood! Alright, son, just stay where you are. I'll get your mother. Hmm? Wait, mother? Uh, uh, that's not strictly necessary. The pain is nothing to a man like me. Give it a moment, I'm sure it'll abate. I've weathered far worse than. Uh, father? Uh, did he actually go to get mother? Suddenly I don't feel so well. <laughs> I like Gaius here. He's just like, Are you okay, son? How are you feeling? I'll go... Yeah, I'll, get, I'll get Lissa. She'll know how to help you. <laughs> I like that. He doesn't seem all that bothered. He's just like, oh, Son's being weird again. I'm gonna get Lissa. <laughs> There's nothing like war for the self-made man. No, sir. The strong rise to the top while the highborns try to keep the blue blood inside him. Hold, defiler! This is sacred ground! Your wickedness will be punished! By who? The same gods that abandoned me when I was a starving as a boy? When you see the gods, tell them I said they can rot in hell! <laughs> Dastard! I'll gut you for that! Who are you? Brady, no! There's nothing you can do! Who would tend to you to injured if we lost you? But... We'll fight as best we're able. You help from the, from the rear lines. Ah! Good people are dying and I can't help! If only I could fight! Who are you related to? Who are you related to? Apparently, Maribel. I did not <laughs> did not see that coming. I guess a uh, cleric. I guess. Huh. Crom, we have to hurry. What's wrong, Maribel? There are people fighting just over the ridge. Lots of people. <laughs> they look like they need help. Let's go, shepherds. So did Brady just get a life up in here? Oh. So we get to protect villagers. Well, I guess we'll, uh, well, we need to move Maribel into our party. We'll move Lissa out and put Maribel in. I think that's all we'll really do. 
And then Maribel, Maribel, Maribel! Basically, we just need to block off the entrances more than anything. Let's see. One second, it seems my cat wants to be let free of the room, wanderer that he is. All right, cat is set free, but he is... Brady is a priest. Let's see. Is there anything special out here? There is sparkles. But... All we really have to do is uh, protect uh, the dudes, I guess. The villagers. They're level 15, but they only have a rating of 38. You are a... A, a, a depression upon reality. But let's fight! Help us, please! The temple's beset by marauding bandits! Don't you worry, we're happy to help. If there's one thing this world needs less of, it's wretched bandits. What? Wait, I know that voice. Is that... Ma? Alright. everybody and of course talk <laughs> oh that's her it's gotta be her what? pardon me you mannerless cur I'll not stand to be left at by a base scoundrel of your ilk yeah, if that clinches it you must be Maribel and just how would you know that did you do you leer at me from behind the shades of whatever din of inequity you frequent <laughs> I bid you good day I guess you've always been like this still it's Good to see you again. Now that I've found you, I'm afraid you're stuck with me. Then I guess we'll just have him in a central location that he can run to and heal people. And I guess we'll hope that they don't have ranged attacks. Get crit, you mannerless cur! Level weapon A. We'll have to shift that to, uh, I guess, spears or like whatever other weapon you have. Annihilate this man. Splice his soul from his body. Double soul. Neat. Get winded. Get Ignis winded, you fool! Was it strategy? We stood while they come to attack us. We just stand still. These motherfuckers have silver swords! Oh, that's not good. They do have ranged attacks. Somehow, them dodging mid-combo makes it slightly more epic. Their silver weaponry is slightly worrying. Oh, it's a loveliness. You shall be obliterated. Oh yeah. Right. My wind, no. You bastard. At least now she's max level, we'll be able to second seal her. Unless getting to level 30 somehow I unlocks like a the ability to use the master seal, I don't know. Get super comboed, bitch.
And now the archers are coming in. I feel like we might want to step out to take care of them. Maybe. Mind time. I like his design. His outfit's cool. But yeah. We need to really take care of the archers before they get in. Then we'll come over here and... Let Krom take over. Get speared. Guess we'll just be waiting about for a bit. While Pan takes care of this one. Let's use Arc Thunder to take care of this guy. Get blasted by the power of thunder! Hmm. Let's see. I am slightly afraid that he might go do something. But maybe if I go here... There! Now he can't attack anybody. Let's go ahead and take this guy down. Get sold on! And crit. Now I'm imagining just Shaggy in as a Fire Emblem unit. Like, take my great Aether! I came from a dark future! Now I'm just reminded of that kind of meme. It's like, Zoink Scoop, I'm the man behind the slaughter! Yeah, I'm just going to, uh... Step out. We're gonna smack you in the face. That way the guy can't... Uh, that uh, upcoming... Uh, archer won't be able to get in and attack. And that just means that we can come out... And uh, smack you with the Parallel Falcon. You might have a silver sword. But she's a badass. And she's gonna heal off this. So fuck off. Booyah. Okay, you're going after him. Oh, this is gonna kill him! Does that mean that he's not accessible? Okay, I don't think so. I don't think he's gone, but that's mean. That's just a mean move, asshole. Because I should have paired him up with somebody, but eh. How come they can shoot through walls, but I can't fly over walls? Or let me guess, that's one of them walls that you do let me fly over for some reason. You little slut of a game. Get blasted by magic and thunder and death. Just so you know, if for some reason him dying on his recruitment mission makes him go away eternally, I will reload because fuck you. Walls? I just feel like that's a bit shenanigans. Ever so slightly. Are you gonna die now? You probably are, aren't you? Hilarious that mother and son have died today. I might need to give them their... Some beefy upping in terms of like the their defense stat. Or like maybe any stat. <laughs> A 
apparently you, and now you'll die. Kill him now, with the power of soul. Go ahead and finish this guy off at long last. Because he's a bastard and he must die. Oh yeah, I forgot, you're already leveled up and stuff. Blast him before he can go and do anything. We will lance this man for daring to shoot through walls. Weapon level up. Huzzah. Now kill this man as well. He angers me with his spirit. Time to get aethered, bitch. There we are. How does it feel to not only do no damage, but actually heal your enemy? I'll just keep going up with Donal. Smacking dudes to death. Getting soul. Donnie is never gonna die. He will just heal off his foes. I forgot, I was meant to, like, level up her other stuff if I could. Oh, well. Guy is dead, and the world is happy. Everyone dies. Victory! <laughs> Useless. Just in case. Oh, that's blocked off. Alright then. Then inward we go, actually. I could have swapped, but I'm a fool. I, I keep forgetting to change the weapons again. Fool that I am. Strike him down. Feed Donnie. Feed him all your souls. You people can keep your gods. I'll put my faith in gold and steel. And uh, you're gonna die. Sure, you have Tomahawk, but it's not even super effective against the Wevern. You. Now that's gonna be super effective against the Wevern. You're God. Well, I guess blast him with magic. I guess, and he gives us a master seal. Neat. Not gonna kill him, but hey. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, <laughs> okay, she took that personally. I'll see you in hell. And I got the master seal that we showed. Oh! But I didn't kill the last guy! That's weird. And I bet you dollars for donuts that they wouldn't have let me just fly over that... that wall to get to the enemy. Thank you! Oh, thank you! You've kept this sacred place safe and spared the lives of those within. We just did what was right. Please, Would that everyone please. were so brave? Please, allow me to give you this. I got a mend, and a blessed lance, and a bullion, and a seraph robe, and a fortify. 
It just kept going. Hey, hey Ma. What? Why did you call me? Yeah. My name's Brady. I'm... Huh. I'm sorry, but I only cure physical ailments, broken bones and the like. You're clearly a deeply troubled individual whose diseased mind is beyond my healing. <sighs> Stop talking for a minute and look at this. Uh. That's my ring. Then that makes you... <laughs> right, like I was trying to say, I'm... A thief, a rapscallion, a common lowborn cut purse. How dare you sneak in here and steal my prized possessions? God, stop interrupting for one blessed second and check your ring. <sighs> oh, it's still here. <sighs> that clear things up anymore? Everything's beast. safe how I gave birth to a common thug. <clears throat> oh, come on, Ma, that's harsh. Sure, I'm not the prettiest guy around, but I'm no thug and I am your son. And it's good to see you. How did I ever permit my child to grow up uh, referring to me as Ma? Yeah. You gave up trying after a decade or so. Well, can you at least ride? Have you read the classics? Do you play violin? Chess? <laughs> yeah, all the above. You beat all that junk into me. <laughs> Glory be, my son is salvageable after all. You know. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Don't look so forlorn, dear. You've come a long way, but Mother's here now. I'll take care of things from now on. <laughs> I missed you so much, Ma. <laughs> Don't even think of crying. It does not befit one of your station. Plus, you'll set me off as well. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Oh, oh, Ma! Oh, Brady! <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> That's hilarious. I wonder if that would change any of, like... Because Krom could romance, like, anybody, right? So what if Crom romanced Maribel, so Brady was his son as well? That would be potentially hilarious. We're gonna come down here because this guy has decided to show up, but first things first, support! Lots of support, apparently. Oh, come please. on, Sully, help old Teach out here. Why can't I ever win the girl? I got... You, you literally did. You're married, man. You're married. Why are you still trying to get the girl? You're married, man. I got devilish good looks, the strength of an ogre, and the charm of a fancy noble. I guess you could say that maybe when it comes to the supports, each support represents a different point in time. And it's just like, uh, around this point in time, everybody did their C's, their B's, their A's. So, technically this is past Vike. The strength of an ogre and the charm of a fancy noble. Well, one of those is true, sort of. I'm supposed you. I suppose you can handle a lance, even if I'm better with a sword. Our match was pretty damn even until you decide we should arm wrestle. So yes, I'll admit you're strong. Not bright, mind you, but strong. Yeah. 98, 99, 100. Sorry, what was that last bit? Hard to hear you over these bicep curls. Anyway, you gotta help me out here, Sully. You just gotta. Look at these arms. Just look at them. I mean, what else does a lady want? Right. Gods be damned, but you are thick. How can how about being kind or thoughtful? Hey. Uh, what would a girl want that stuff for? Yeah. Look, if you ask me, I'd want a man with ideals. One who wants to better himself. If I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with someone, I have to respect yeah. him. Ha! <laughs> That's me up and down. Heck, I joined the Shepherds because of my ideals. Mm -hmm. Now you mention it, you never did tell me why you're fighting for Crom. So, out with it. What made you sign up? Anyone I wanted else? to be the greatest warrior in all the realm. No, idiot. I'm asking what you want, why you wanted to be a great warrior in the first place. Well, it's a bit of a tale, but you need more teach talk that bad, eh? Well, all right. I grew up poor in this podunk little village where I was famous for never losing a fight. Local kids latched onto me, and before I knew it, I had my own little gang. Of course, we were just a bunch of ne'er-do-wells as far as the adults were concerned. <laughs> what a surprise. So one day, Emmerin herself came to our corner of the world, and she said, I seek to bring prosperity and equality to all the people of Elise. Well, that struck a nerve. Soon as I heard it, I knew what my mission was. To forsake your misspent youth, join the Shepherds, and fight for social justice? <laughs> yeah, that. That was exactly what you just said. Okay, maybe not the exact same words I used, but... Vike, you may not be such a complete moron after all. You might even, dare I say it, deserve some respect. Huh? That's the Vike! Man, you man of your dreams right here, reporting for du- No, I stand corrected. No respect warranted. None whatsoever. Whatever. Aww! He's an amusing little Kraton, ain't he? Hey Lucina, wait! Hold up one second! 
Ah, oh, what? Well, no smile for old An Inigo? That's a shocker. What? I beg your pardon? Hmm. It's just you're always so darn grim. Don't get me wrong, a determined woman certainly has her charms. But all day, every day is a bit much. Don't you think? It's bringing people down. Then the others have complained of my attitude as well. Well, no, I mean not everyone, but some people. Or, well, one. Okay, me. Look, I just figured I'd point it out before it became a huge problem. I see. <laughs> Readiness contagious. If you keep it up, you'll have the whole camp infected. You think I'm contagious? Quite. In a way, yeah. A little, I guess. You're a leader, you know. We all look up to you. You make a fair case. <laughs> yeah, so smile a little, even if you have to fake it. It's not hard, you know. You just raise your cheeks like this, here. Get, get wrecked off your face! <laughs> See there, Lucina? That's the cheeriest I've ever seen you. I think I feel a new infection coming on. You'll feel more than dead. You'll feel more than dead if you don't hand me. <laughs> Mercy, my lady. I'll leave you alone. But get practicing. Next time I drop by, I expect you to be smiling like a pro. Would he honestly have me grinning about all day like a mad woman? Ah, uh, he always did seem a bit off. <laughs> I can't believe Anigo is insane. Donald and Tharja, leave the boy alone. Yeah, yeah. You there, boy. Do you know where I can find a new tsai? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I've seen tons of them slamming critters up yonder stream. Hold and I'll fetch one for you. Yeah. You there, boy. Where can I get the tail of a snow white sow? Mm. Fresh out, I'm afraid. But I can run ask the cat butcher if you like. That dunderhead wouldn't possibly have such a thing. Huh? Well, I suppose I could hop down the valley and check the local swine herd. I reckon one of them pigs will have a white tail. What? You there, boy. Bring me a bat. Huh? Shucks, they must live in caves down by the old fish and... Uh, beg pardon, man, but did you just order me to go fetch a bat? <laughs> yes, I did. Sometime today, please. Yeah. Well, all right, then. I'll just tootle on down to one of the caves and flush one out. I can't imagine why that hayseed keeps following my orders. I haven't even had a chance to place a curse of servitude on him yet. <laughs> That's just because he's just a, a, a sweet little boy. Come now. now repeat after me. My name is Brady. Please to make your acquaintance. What? Did you hear me? My name is Brady. Please to make your acquaintance. My name's Brady. Please to make your acquaintance. Clearly. My name is Brady, not the names. Now, my mother's name is Maribel. Go ahead, try, darling, try it. Ah. Mama, what was that voice like? Mama, uh, my mother, ah, nuts, Ma. You're crazy if you think I'm putting up with this crap. Don't you dare talk, walk out on me, young man. Ma, we're at war here, you know? We're killing and all that malarkey. If you want to teach me something, teach me some tricks of a staff. I'll teach nothing of the sort to a boy who scoffs at the value of proper language. Huh? Why not? A person's words reflect on their character. So anyone who speaks a little rough is some kind of knuckle-dragger? Ain't that a little simplistic? No. Unrefined language shows a lack of concern for how one comes across to others. It demonstrates a lack of respect and an apple cause to judge someone. <sighs> Why you always gotta be so hard-headed about everything? So Better a hard head than a brain made of mush. I'd sooner choose my words carefully than speak rashly and regret it. You want some? <laughs> Sounds like somebody screwed up in the past, yeah? Who'd you piss off? Really, must your every phrase be vulgar? It should be... <laughs> Whom did you piss off, Brady? Go on, repeat it for yourself. What? Uh, someone tells me that still ain't proper speech. <laughs> Entirely proper speech. <laughs> I like it. And stall. <laughs> Tea's ready. It's the, uh, the what's it can from that place. You know, the expensive junk. Uh, um, what well, what are you waiting for? A royal invitation? It's all set and ready to go, just the way you like it. So uh, Brady... Let's step it up, old timer. Tea ain't getting any hotter. R right, sorry. <laughs> but Brady. You want yeah? Nah. What did you mean, just the way I like it? I hardly ever drink tea. Huh? What do you mean? You drink it every day. You never miss tea time. Huh? I've had the odd cup here or there, but I've never had a tea time in my life. <gasps> what? Ma told me to join you in your daily tea ritual. Even gave me detailed instructions. Wait, did you make it all up? Hmm. Considering I don't even know what a tea ritual is, I'm guessing she did. <laughs> That dirty! I bet she's laughing her head off right about now! Uh, what exactly did she tell you? Oh, don't you worry. I'm gonna have me a nice chat, long chat with dear old Ma. You just sit here and drink your damn tea. So long, old timer. Yeah. Oh, and set this on top of the pot. It keeps the tea warm. When did my life get so weird? <laughs> That's hilarious. I like it. 
I like these characters. I enjoy that they like threw in characters from the future. It's amusing to me. Oh, but I almost forgot. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody else? It's mainly you, I think. Time for... Yep, just a second seal. We'll yoink that from you. And she can become anything. Weapon Rider, Thief, Griffin Rider, Weapon Lord, Trickster, Assassin. The main thing is, I like that she's a Togwall. But maybe throwing her down the Assassin route so she could get, like, the instant kill ability might be nice. Hmm. But then the problem is, if we then reset her back to Togwall, all of her, like, weapon abilities will be moot. <laughs> I wish that, like, I wish that the Togwall could, like, and I guess the Manakeet by, exec uh, by uh, association, in a way, could, like, keep up their, like, Beaststone and Dragonstone, like, abilities. At least on, like, the solo classes. Like, sure, on... Ones if mounts, I guess, take that away because that would be complicated. But if it's just them standing alone, why not let them keep the ability to use the beast stone? It's not like other people can class into Togwall. Hmm. Because I could keep her a Togwall or send her down Assassin. But the main problem is if I send her down Assassin, I might as well keep shifting her through other classes maybe instead of seeing her back to Togwall but I like that she's a Togwall hmm I'm gonna do a I'm gonna quickly save we're gonna turn her into an assassin and then I'm going to see if I can easily like, send her back down to Togwall whenever. Because if I can send her back to Togwall quickly, then I might grind her out to being a high level... Like, I might super grind her in the experience dungeon. That looks so cool, but she loses her Togwall ability. Which saddens me. What strange tools you man spawn used. But then the problem is that she can't use her damn beast stones no more. But then I just want to see. I can always turn her back to a tog wall whenever. Good. Well, guess I'll store away her beast stones because they're worthless. And we shall give you a bronze that and a bronze sword. And we'll grind out your capabilities later. Once you get skills... I guess, like, the one or two skills from assassinating will do stuff. Well, let's go beat up some people here. Now the question is, who do I want to keep here? I guess Pan, just to see how terrible everything is. Vike, to so maybe get him to Master Seal level. Really, everything can stay, yeah. Let's see. At least you can kill these guys. A level 13 Dark Mage. Get everyone closer and just kill this Nosferatu guy. Why is it blue? I wonder why some of like it's always a Nosferatu that's like blue, and I wonder why. I forgot to let Vike have the kill. I'm full. I'm a moraine. Luckily, nobody's gonna get over here in time. Arrive, Vike. 
get some probably paltry leveling in. <laughs> and I got a bullion. Hell yeah. Could have grabbed that, it might do something. Yeah, we'll just let them all get closer still. Because we can. I wonder if there's a challenge run where people don't pair up anybody ever and they just have <laughs> everybody on their standing alone if that's like a run in the game. That would be interesting to see. Because pairing up is such like an intrinsic thing. I'm going to assume this is also like the first time that pairing up was introduced into a game. Let's kill you with a sword. Again, it would be so cool if they could still use their beast stones in this. I understand, like diddly dee da dee diddly da, but still, it's just saddening, you know. It's all I'm saying. They deferrified my waifu. However, could they do this? Let's keep smacking people. Get Ignis. Shoot all you want. You're still gonna die. Get bladed. Let's go ahead and give it to Vike so we can level up slightly. Murder them all. Murder them all! And you can come down here and slice this man to death. Stab him. Whatever it takes. Whatever it's takes. Huzzah! My lord. All right. So I forget what was the last. Uh, Bibbidi bar that we did. What was its title? The last one. It was uh, Paralog 7, so we need now 8. That's another. That's 8. Dueling Grounds! Paralog 8. A duel disgraced. Who are you? Dishonorable cur, you killed my master, and now you will face me. <laughs> if that pile of pudding was pudding, pudding, pudding was your master, I'd advise you to just keep walking. <sighs> Craven dog, you claimed a hostage. He'd never have lost in a fair fight. <sighs> Nor would he have wanted this kill. If I lose you as well, I... I have you won't lose me, I swear. And I swear your husband will be avenged. If you want to run headlong into the grave, girl, I won't stop you. We can duel in the ruins ahead. And I'll take a hostage. <laughs> what do you make of this, Krom? Hmm? I hope she knows what she's getting into. Excuse me. Sir, please, you have to do something. What's the matter? It's my friend, sir. I fear she's walking into a terrible trap. That scoundrel Cassius would never fight an honest duel. My husband took a similar stand against his tyranny not long ago. The brute took a girl hostage and then cut my husband down as he lowered his weapon. I can't let her suffer the same fate. I'd die, I would. Really? All right, we'll see what we can do. Well, who is... Um, but 
Who's who who belong to you? Let's take a look at the map. Where are you? Are you just a part of my army now? Where are you? I guess I could. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, she's up here. But who's your parents? I didn't get a hint. Because, like... You have a hit rate. I also have been noticing... Skills. Like, Lucina has Ignis now. And Elaine had Rally. Could it be? Hmm. But there's a door. And treasure chests. There's two treasure chests. So, I feel like Maribel definitely needs to be diddly D. Do you definitely need to diddly D? And at the very least, we'll bring in Gaius and, let's see. We'll bring in you two. Well, let's see. Like, I guess if worse comes to worse, I could just... And he has the door kinnies right up there. All right. Sure thing. Give me a map. All right. Actually, I guess fight. Coward, you promised me a duel, you soulless blackheart. <laughs> Indeed, I did. Consider all these men my seconds. <laughs> Still, I'm not a monster. I'll spare your life if you get on your knees and beg. What? I'd sooner die. <laughs> Well, we can arrange that, too. Have at her, boys! Guess I'll go with Sully. Charge ahead a bit, kill a guy on the way. We'll send our... our uh, thieveries. clear this guy out so we won't blindside any of our other flyers. It's only a steel level guy, but still. Just gotta get our assass- or not assassins, but our thieves into place to get those diddly does, which works out perfectly. You literally are just like a seller through and through. How dare you have a short spear? Luckily you won't do anything, because you're worthless. Do you only have shopping puns? Go, go. 
Also notice, I can't fly over the walls, yet they can shoot me through the walls. Because life is bitch. She's coming for your goddamn shit, motherfucker. Good job, Gaius. I'll go ahead and break the elf thunder so it's just out of the way. Oh, I thought that would kill you, motherfucker. Come up here as well, just like protect you a bit. Wait. Nope, Vike is not fully leveled, so kill this man. That is gonna be overkill. Yeah, I rule. Blast this monster. out because he's a danger to my soul. Ah, perfect. That's not really worth it, but oh well. You bastard. Annihilated by dark magic, you ruffian. <laughs> and a level up for Thaja. Huzzah! She hasn't been with her husband, Gregor, in forever. Better fucking die so I can annihilate your door friend. Who better not fucking run away. Also, what? Route the enemy so it's kill them all. <laughs> Alright, sure. Not like she can. She only has a heal now. You can't even bonus damage. You was you, a bitch. You can't even thunder strike a Drake, you fool. And now you have committed suicide. Thank you. going to toss that iron lance. Get her done. Oh boy, seven damage. You really scare me. Oh boy, three damage. You probably scare her. I wonder if something happens if you, like, help her with the honorable duel part. I don't know. Probably nothing. We'll just come up here and kill this guy. Get speared. Now yeah, we'll come up here. Swap. No, chest. Bullion. Door. And now you will die. No ruin for you. Kill this man. I wonder if there's... Well, it says route the enemy, not defeat their leader, so it can't be a... They keep spawning until you beat their leader. It purely has to be... Kill them all. Oh, 
of which we shall. And then I guess we'll just move up, because we can. You are a fool. <laughs> you are double the fool. You are now dead. It's... <laughs> awesome. That is amazing. I love that. You're telling me that can happen if I level up... Pan to get lethality down the assassin branch. I have made the perfect choice in life. It does feel like they're endlessly spawning, though. But they can talk. Hey, hey you guys second? Ah! Mm -hmm. What? I got something on my face? No, no, no you just remind me of someone. Forgive me, I have no time to talk. Oh, yeah? Don't worry, it won't take long. So listen, these low lowlifes you have, have no honor. You know that, right? If you meet them head on, you'll just end up with a sword in your back. <laughs> head on is how I live. <laughs> I like you. And that's all the more reason I can't let you charge up on your own. Don't try and stop me. Right. I'm not stopping you. I'm coming with you. You just focus on finishing your duel and I'll kill any idiot who gets in the way. Right. And now she becomes uber powerful in my power. Get stabbed. Get double stabbed. Idiot. <laughs> I wonder if the objective has changed. Nope, still route the enemy. We'll just come up here and we'll kill you, I guess. Okay. okay. I lethality crit seems overkill. That was tasty. Um, I'm gonna have to take lethality is based on luck, isn't it? Or is it? Lethality is a uh, skill stat divided by four. I didn't think it would be that good, but okay, sure. Come on, amigo. Let's level you up some, I guess. I guess these guys can be down here. I guess let's uh, blast with you. Because we can. So close to leveling up. I guess fly down here to back them up. Same thing with you. Or do I have to literally place, like, some of my units on every single, like, staircase to stop them from spawning? I think that'd be ridiculous, but I think that's what they're telling me. Alright, separate. I think that is legitimately what they're telling me now. Then again, it's like a vague route the enemy. So who knows? Could be anything. I guess you can come down here and smite this guy with your last Nosferatu, which I forgot to take off. You can come down here. I guess you can go down this way. Time to get crit. I 
guess we'll just set you there so he'll come and fight. Because I guess it could just be beat up the leader mission, but it's called Route the Enemy. Which is usually beat them all up. Hmm. My paranoia spiked for a moment. I was like, did I ever reactivate the recording after I paused it? And then I looked over, fearing the worst. But luckily, it's still going. My spear. Too much you suck. Too bad you suck, I mean. You'll suck at your Jimbo. Get vengeance, bitch. And maybe it's starting to stop that. Go ahead and smite this guy. And now, are you close enough to smite him? God damn it. A level up for the Vike. Come along and blast this guy with his stupid hat. Again, I keep forgetting that that's a thing. That you can just eternally go back again and again and again and again. Murder, murder, murder. Like a murder machine. Kill this man, for he is ugly. Now you know what, if they come back, they come back. Let's fly away. Fly away with me into the sky. You can come over here to grab the sparkly, I guess. You can grab that sparkly. <laughs> Finally, a perfect voodoo doll. Neon will have eyes for only me. Utterly disturbing. Sure, I guess. Sure, it distracts you. You guys can grab that. What's this on the ground? Perhaps some lovely lass dropped it? Okay, yes, please, give. And I'm gonna kill you. Get twirled on, bitch. Like we said is very likely to die. That's not good. I wonder why. Is it waste? Hmm. Well, that now makes me wonder. Should I actually, like... Hmm. I wonder, because it feels like the other ones have had, like, things to them. And I wonder if doing, like, an honorable duel with this guy is, like, important. Damn it. I'm a fool. I'm... So, yeah, it's just this guy is all on his lonesome. What we will do is we will do thing. And maybe that'll keep her alive. I'll be here. Likely to die still. Hmm. Because I doubt that she, uh, she's only a, she can only, hmm. Well, let's go for it. It's only a 33 chance. You? If you believe in any gods, you better pray to them now. <laughs> my, my, aren't we confident? 
I don't fear you, coward. Listen up. I, I suppose not. Most fools assume that liars and sneaks like me are weak. They want us to be weak, see? They need it. It lets them hold on to the fantasy that right prevails in the end. <laughs> they can think what they want. A cocky fool is an easy target. Truth is, in the end, it's the clever ones who always survive. A man who takes hostages in order to win a duel has no claim to cleverness. Even an animal could not stoop so low. But enough! I have no more words to waste on the likes of you. My master will have vengeance! Wrong girl. Your master will have company. Good job. But now he's going to get a chance to attack. Probably should have sent people up to give more, like, diddly right here. Don't hit. Damn it. Good. Now you're dead. Booyah. Honorable duel. Th this can't. Nobody else helped kill you. They just stood by and watched. I was derelict in my training. Well, you technically did get lucky there. Draco Shield! Huzzah! Oh, thank Kel, the thank the gods you're safe. Yeah. I kept my promise. Your husband can rest in peace now. Thank you. I may have a way to thank you. This was his. I'm sure he would have wanted you to have it. But this is a precious keepsake. It's rightful places with you. <laughs> I'll not forget my husband for lack of memento, dear. Now, please, take it. Um, You're certain? Right. Absolutely. Thank you. Th thank you. <laughs> Just swear to take care of yourself, Kill. Swear you'll stay safe. Yes. I swear it. Hey. Looks like the good guys won after all. Ain't that a kick in the teeth? Yeah. Thank you for your help, but I fear other tasks yet lie ahead of me. I still have to, have to find my parents. Mm -hmm. Ah, hell, your parents are missing? That's rough, kid. Any idea where they might be? Actually, I have a ring my father gave my mother, but precious little else to go on. Mind if I take a look? Yeah. No, of course not. Um, well, I'll be damned. Kid, this is my ring. Huh? Your ring, but then... <laughs> I get it. You're one of the kids who came back with Lucina, yeah? Which means I've got a new lead for you on your parent front, kiddo. I'm your mom. <laughs> you? Hmm? You expecting someone prettier? No. no, of course not. I mean... You look as beautiful now as when I knew you. <laughs> so I'm not all wrinkled or missing a hand or anything? That's a relief. Um, you were a beautiful and vibrant woman, despite the ill times we lived in. You taught me how to be strong. You taught me how to survive. And yet I did not recognize you. <laughs> oh, yeah? All right, kid. Sit down. I want to know every last detail about the future. Yeah. You bet. <laughs> Is that how you address your mother? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Much better. <sighs> You always were tough on me. That's right. Any child of mine is gonna have to learn to respect their elders. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mother. That's sweet. Kind of silly that she's the only one that didn't really rec- Well, yeah, she's the only one that didn't recognize their parents. But hey. Support time. Which apparently includes a lot of people. Hey. It's fighting time, Crom. <sighs> Very well, but on one condition. What? Condition? It's not like you'd ask for a handicap. No. Nothing of the sword, Vike. It's just that, well, Lissa was pretty upset after our last duel. Poor girl was crying her eyes out. She said we were taking our sparring too seriously. She made me promise to go easy and fight safe so neither of us gets hurt. Right. <laughs> yeah, that last clash was a real doozy. Good times, good times. But, uh, listen, Crom, you're gonna have to explain this fight safe concept to me. Right. I've been pondering that myself. Perhaps we could decide the winner with a coin flip? Hey. Gods, no! I don't want Lady Luck picking the winner. Not between us, anyway. Hey, I got it. Let's say you and me have a good old-fashioned cooking contest. You make something, I make something, and we'll see who comes out on top. Really? Uh, well, I suppose. Though I was seldom allowed to ca uh, in the castle kitchens growing up. <laughs> ah, you're right. Cooking against royalty would be like spearing fish in a barrel. If you can't beat, if I can't beat you with honor, I got no interest in beating you. 
Hold on now, I didn't say no. I've roasted my share of campfire born, I've heard no complaints. Like <laughs> then a cook-off it is. Good, get ready to taste my victory. Hilarious. Cher Shindonel. Hey. You mind if I ask you a question here, Cher? How's that? Go ahead. Uh, I hear there's a girl involved in that what can whoop a weavern in a fight. That true? Oh. I assume you mean a human girl? If so, I doubt it. I've certainly never heard of such an extraordinary person. Mm. Ha! Yeah, I figured it was just some fool spinning tales. If I may. Who told you this, anyway? Yeah. Some old merchant what claimed he'd been traveling back and forth to Valm. He, he, uh, he used to visit our village to sell goodies, tonics, what make you taller and the like. It was quite a tale he told, though. About the Weaven girl, I mean. Apparently she wandered into Weaven Valley when she was only nine. She whooped up on a Weaven there and then rode the poor fella all the way home. Ha! <laughs> Guess that tale's worth as much as the dang tonic you sold me. I mean, what sad excuse for a weapon would go and get tamed by a little girl? <laughs> Minerva, what's the matter? Don't reckon it was something I said, do you? Well, I can't imagine what it might... Minerva, stop that at once. You mustn't eat poor Donald. <laughs> Yikes! Your beast is crazy, lady! I'm gonna make like a chicken and fly! Oh Minerva, bad weapon. What has gotten into you? Minerva immediately knew. It's like, he's talking about you. How dare he? <laughs> Hello. Oh, there you are, Gaius. Shug easy, easy. Almost there. Gaius, Gaius? Hey, Gaius! Shh, quiet down. Can't you see I'm busy here? Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, horse plop, it flew away. Huh? Uh, what flew away? Hey, what are you doing anyway? I'm bee watching, or at least I was. Oh, I didn't know you liked insects. Nope. I don't. I was just trying to figure out where the little fella lives. Well, you, you mean it's hive? Ah, now I get it. What do you get? <laughs> You're looking for bee larva. Huh? Ah, gross, no. That was They're considered a great delicacy among fine society back at the capital. You know, I've always suspected you had a sophisticated palate. I have no idea what you're blathering about, Stumbles. Hey, you should let me help you find some bee larva. I mean, since I scared your little bee friend away and all. Uh, wow, look at the time I gotta fly. Yes. Oh, all right, but you must tell me when you go out again, all right? I insist. Bye, Gaius. Do we have to? Bee larva? Crivens, I'll never understand these fancy city folk. Oh, no honey for me today. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Why didn't you just come out and say, hey? It's about honey. <sighs> That's enough for today. Yes, yes ma'am. Hmm. You're a good kid. Good enough to keep me on my toes. Yeah. I learned from my mother. Yeah. What, you mean me? Or, I mean future me? Damn it, I can't wrap my head around all this time travel business. But... You fight just like the mother I knew, which makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> that explains why you're so hard to beat. You know all my moves. Although, wait, there's one thing I don't understand. Huh? What's that? No. You're not great on horseback, are you? How'd that happen? I think I would have taught you better, Actually, but you never taught me to ride. Hmm? What? Why not? Do you guys have to eat all the horses or something? We had horses. What we lacked was talent, or more specifically, I lacked it. You said I was a lost cause, so I wound up teaching myself poorly. Oh, yeah? Huh. Basically. So yeah, come to think of it, now's your chance. Hmm? Huh? My chance of what? Fight is to me. teach me how to ride. I mean, it is your fault I don't already know. Uh, my fault? How is it my fault? I haven't done anything. I haven't even had you yet. But, but you will, so come on. What do you say, please? Right. Oh, fine. If you're so damn intent on learning, we'll work it out into the regimen. Perfect. Thanks, Mother. That's sweet. Now let's see how you interact with your father. Basically. Are you free, Father? I could use a sparring partner. Uh, kill. I'd love to, but uh, maybe not today. What? Father, you're pale as a ghost and sweating. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm fine. Save for my innards. Are you injured? Who did this to you? Give me a name and I'll... Breakfast. Huh? Someone named Breakfast? No, no. I ate breakfast and then this happened. Not just to me. Everyone in camp is in the same shape. If you haven't eaten, stay away. Save yourself. Oh. Uh, and I thought Sully's cooking was bad. Whoever made this is... is... Is your daughter. No. Come again. <sighs> I'm sorry, Father. I thought it turned out so well. What? No, it's not that. I mean, uh, it was d delicious. I'm sure the searing pain is coincidental. <laughs> you just said that everyone who ate it got sick. 
Oh, this is embarrassing. Wait, girl, come back. Don't go all... Good oh, God, here it comes. So is she... Is Kiel somehow just bad at a lot of things? That's kind of amusing. Ah, oh, we have an armor set now. Neat. And a piece of wood in the floor. Everyone gets so busy when we return to camp. How do you pass the time? I make sure everyone else is safe and sound. Nothing hurts like losing a calm lad. Calm lad. My, my tongue decides to betray me. It constantly keeps trying to turn R's into L's and L's into R's. All right, so that was eight. Let's be on the hunt for nine. That's 15 or something. That's 16. That's 14. What's down the F? 13. Yes. Paralog 10. Paralog 9. Let's go ahead and do it, because why not? Wings of Justice. Ooh! We haven't seen this in a while. Quite the bustling little town. The harvest must have come in. I'd wager there's some good there's some good eating to be had. <laughs> Count me in. It's been days since I had a proper meal. It is not your child. You already had one. Don't tell me you had two. <laughs> Welcome to Grubsh. Ugh! You you you're hmm? um <laughs> terribly sorry, sir, but we're closed. What? That was odd. I guess we'll try elsewhere. Again, my tongue do that. Everyone's closed today. What? This place looks open, Father. Ah, oh, they have pottage. Uh, ah. huh? huh? Please, not again. We'll be ruined. This tavern is all we have. Mercy, sirs, leave us in peace. <sighs> People here don't seem to like us very much. My lord. I did a little investigating on that front, my lord. It seems a band of nasty rogues have been harrying them without pause for some time. Apparently, they are led by a man who masquerades as you. Ah, so that's what this is about. Any idea where they are? Ah. It seems they headed north, my lord. <laughs> then so shall we. <laughs> that's amusing. This feels like... Like a filler episode. <laughs> Another fine haul. Long live the great Crom. Mission complete. Crom, sir? Are you a dumbass? Pegasus Knight Cynthia, return from patrol, sir. Whoops. You are Sumia's daughter, aren't you? Aw, oh, right on the face. Sorry for my clumsiness, sir. I promise not to trip again for at least 24 hours. Right. That'd be a new record. Now out with it, girl. What did you see? Right. A suspicious band of travelers have been making inquiries in town, sir. Hmm. Oh? They called their leader Krom, sir. I suspect they are imposters posing as you. They must be stopped at once. Uh, right. Posing as me. But, uh, we don't have the men to battle these imposters right now. Best swallow our pride and exercise the better part of valor for now. Level-headed and humble as ever, sir. Allow me to draw their attention while you retreat to safety. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. A fine plan. Yep. I won't let you down, sir. Gats, she's dumb as a brick. Still full box for enthusiasm. <laughs> I'm going to assume that she is the trip alone. Hmm? And you are? No. All who would pretend to be Crom's name will answer to me for their deceit. Lay down your arms and surrender or face judgment at my spear. Well, she certainly seems eager. What do you think, Neon? If she's being honestly deceived, we may be able to show her the truth. Just Enough! In the name of my Lord Krom, cast down your sword or draw it! You are a dumb as a brick. Now, let's see. Where are you? Jesus Christ! The... What? Mercenaries? What the... Mercenaries? Cynthia. Let's see. She has rally speed and relief. Well, she's obviously descended from some... Again, has... Sumia. Who has rally speed. But let's see, anything else? Dual guard. Well, we're gonna send Sumia in, I guess. We just have to be careful because she's going to come... You mean that... <laughs> That's hilarious. That we could accidentally kill. But what about these mercenaries up at the top, I wonder? What's their deal? The motherfuckers have 11 swords. not even going to drop, bitch. Where do I get my 11 swords? I want 11 swords. 
But yeah, that's that's hilarious. That's kind of funny. That if you wanted to, you could kill her. Which is just dark. And again, who are these guys? Mercenaries? There's a lot of dudes. I'm gonna try and swarm everyone up here a bit. Alright, so... I think that's all we can really do. Let's see, anybody else that we want to swap out? Like, maybe Tharja and Anna, Gaius. I guess I'll bring Pan in, just because we can. Hmm. Maybe Frederick and put him with Sumia. Maybe Nawi. Yeah. And I think this might be good. All right, let's fight. Hmm, <laughs> a band of mercenaries. Luck smiles on me today. A few petty lies, and I'll have a lot of them fighting for me. Well, first things first. You're the only one I really care about. I guess I'll send him up to maybe... Is it route the enemy? Yeah, it's route the enemy. So I guess I could send him up because... Huh, but I don't know. I wish that I could, like, see if... Like, if... Hmm. Because maybe if I get Krom up here to talk to them, they'll join me? Maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Go up a bit. Why do you activate some? And then every oh, I forgot. Everyone's like super fast. Hmm. I think you'll survive. You won't die. I'm sure of it. Help! No, help! I'm Krom, ruler of Elise. I'm being hunted by brigands. If you help me, I'll see to it that you're handsomely rewarded. Oh, he's going. Hold fast until I give the word. The moment they clear the rubble, fall on them like an avalanche. So he's gonna go one by one. Oh, fuck. Miss, please. Oh, you bitches! You put a bunch of our bow dudes up here? You whores! What a nightmare! There's bow dudes galore up here! I should have paired her with somebody else, like Frederick, actually. They're all going after her specifically. I'm gonna blast you. So these guys are actually kind of tough. Please, for the love of God, miss. Thank you. Jesus. So we do want to run up as fast as we can to stop him from calling down all the mercenaries.
Jesus, I hate you guys. Jesus Christ, there's so many of you. Thank God that you all suck. Damn it, I'm not close enough yet. But if I... Mm. Like, unless I unequip... Like, that's the only way that I could get close. So we have to eliminate all these guys. But we also don't want to, like, put anybody who's, like, actually a threat into here. I guess I'm going to Higgledy Piggledy and undo you. Then I guess I'll move over here and put on, I guess, remove, because that's all that I can really do. And now we'll activate you again, because again, we don't want to risk anybody drawing her ire and then giddy killing her. Big off. Actually, no. Ah, that'll actually kill you. Let's blast this guy with the bronze bow. And get a crit. Booyah. And get no experience for it. Sadness. Strike down this man. And I guess switch. Who is more terrifying? Hmm. I guess I'll get rid of you because screw you, Mr. Bowman. take down this guy so we can't be mean in the future. Fritz galore today. Oh yeah, I forgot we can do that. Go ahead and blast you. Be annihilated, little man. And we'll try and... Poor Frederick. We need to send Frederick to the leveling up school. Help! He's just, in, just saying the same thing again. Please miss. God damn it. Is she gonna kill her mother now? Oh, fuck off. Please miss. Motherfucker. No. <laughs> I did save before this, didn't I? I'm gonna restart, because fuck that. They intentionally did that, 
So what I'm going to do is pair Sumia up properly with Frederick next time. So that she can have better diddly dees. I think everyone... Yep, this is how we did it last time. Is everything set up? I do believe, yes. But yeah, that's just very mean of them. To be like, I'm going to put everything that's going to kill you over here. So fine. We're going to have Frederick bodyguard her. So that doesn't happen again. And we'll send you over here, because we can. And we'll put Vike in so that he can, like, maybe level up. Let's see. I might as well. We can do that. Wait, it's just it's so incredibly silly. They're gonna be extra mean. We're gonna send in super mean teams. Yes, yes, yes. But nah. It's like they knew what you would want to do and they said, no, you don't get to. Which, how dare they? Get Luna, motherfucker. Get double Luna, motherfucker. Hilarious. Annihilate this man. And now you'll do no damage. But I still run into the problem of I need to get close enough without killing her. <laughs> Feed yourself to Vike and die. A 40% crit and it didn't go off. Then again, 85% hit and it did, so. Can't complain too much. And the game decided, oh, 44, now we can do it. Yeah, I rule. How dare you hit her, you bitch. How dare you fire upon him, you bitch. Now kill him. Kill him hard. Up and kill you. Because we just need to at least we'll lure them in slowly. I suppose. Potentially. We'll blast you with dragon stone. You do no damage. And now you get obliterated. our steel lance to annihilate you. Super annihilate you. Parallel falcon to you as well. Mayfair. And crit. Or just... It's hard to tell. Usually... I'm only used to that being the activation of crit, so who knows, maybe it could be anything. I'm going to annihilate you. Super annihilate you. <laughs> Almost there, Vike. And he got a second seal. Good for you. And we shall annihilate him too. Yep. 
Yes, Slippery Slam. I guess we'll send a Nico up to potentially die. Never mind, Lucina is there to help. Yeah, just the same thing. We know, we know. Good, they place them in the perfect spot. Well, the first things first is we're gonna come over here and blast you so that they can get through. Booyah. Still can't get just one space away. If only we were just slightly faster. So we're going to have to do the same thing. Then again, those guys aren't as scary. As it is that guy, but still. We'll move over here. Uh, I guess we will remove that so that we have to remove both because I don't know. You... For safety, we'll remove both and swap back. We'll allow you to annihilate this poor bitch. Goodbye. And max level for Vike. Send that away. Hmm. Well, first things first, since we already did that, let's activate that again and remove these, because I just don't want to step into the wrong realm. Gotta get up there to stop him. Help! I'm Grimish Mem! So many projectile people. And talk. Pardon me. Pardon me, but I think you may be misinformed. Can we speak a moment? <sighs> Don't waste your breath. Your lies ring hollow. Your ring? Ring? Y your ring? Mother! Huh? What? Huh? It is you. Oh, Mother, you're alive. I never thought I'd see you again. I, I... <laughs> um, are you all right? Huh? Wait, but if you're on that side, that means... Oh my gosh, my crumb is a fake! Oh, I'm going to kill him for this! I'm gonna plant a flying hoof right in his stupid liar face! Wait, we really should... Well, at least she's not confused anymore. If only I could say the same for me. And now we shall equip things back. Hmm. Problem is, ah, well, I should have. St the movement attack, like, programs of this game is a little annoying. Like, sometimes it feels like you have to go out of your way to do things. Ever so slightly. Oh, 
Oh, perfect. We'll just come up here and come in from behind. Ah, oh, got an arm scroll. I really should use that more. We'll annihilate this guy so he's less of a threat. And a level up for Nowie. Hello, it's me, Actual Crumb. I'm here to kill you. I'm not dying in a backwater like this. I'll take what's handy and then take off. I'm not going to let you. Aether! Goodbye. Wouldn't have had to live like this if I'd been a prince. Too bad, too sad, now goodbye. Hmm. Come up here and blast this guy. And max level will be able to second or uh, a master seal you. Huzzah! And we'll do this because we can. And we'll let. Darn it. Let's see. Ah, I'm sure we can get lucky. Good job. Don't die. God damn it. Again. They're just so mean. To put so many bow people there. Around the the person you want to recruit. It's just so mean. If only I could talk to them to recruit them, but I guess it's kind of like pseudo pointless pointless at this point to do so. I guess we can try. And we will succeed. It was your time. I find it hilarious that they didn't just go as like, what but he's dead. Our boss is dead. Why are we doing anything? <laughs> Why do we care to do anything when our boss is dead? And we'll just See if that helps him. Goodbye. Guess I win. And a max level for you too. Perfecto mundo. Well, time to go avenge your daughter. This game is cruel. It's almost like they wanted Sumia's daughter to die. <sighs> That's the last of them. Ah. We can explain the truth to those mercenaries as we tend their wounds. Frankly, I'm shocked that scoundrel had the audacity to impersonate you, my lord. Right. Not the worst of his crimes, I'm sure. Right. It is unacceptable, my lord. I have clearly failed in my duties as a knight. I shall draft a series of portraits and see that copies are distributed to all. Never again shall someone mistake the noble visage of our Lord Crom for uh, uh, um, Frederick. Let's just go. Do you have a moment, Sumia? Huh? Oh, hello. You're the girl from before. Er, hmm. Cynthia. My name is Cynthia. What a darling name. 
empty. I know, I've always loved it. It was a gift from my mother, from you. What, what me? But I, I've never seen... Yeah. Oh, but you will! Isn't that great? I came from the future, mother! See, our rings match and everything! It's because you gave it to me! Or you will, I mean, later, before I come back here. But after I... Gosh, this is confusing. Yes. So you're, you're my daughter? Yep. I sure am. I miss you so much, mother. Give me a, give me a hug. Whoops. Oh, that one's gonna bruise. Right, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Well, we're definitely related. Hold on. You dropped something. A spearhead? So, sorry, I'll take that back. Why are you carrying that around? No. Because it hasn't been made yet. You promised we'd make it together. Huh? I did. Right. But you broke your promise the day, the day you never came home. How could you leave me, mother? You are a legend. You are invincible. Oh. Wait, you're saying I died? I'm so sorry, love. I guess I'm not much of a legend after all. No. You are to me. I may not be invincible, but at least I was blessed with a wonderful child. Had we decided what sort of half to give the spear? We can pick up the materials in the next town. We can? Yes. I made a promise, didn't I? <laughs> oh, mother, I love you. That's sweet. Even if she's kind of a dumbass, she has a lot of heart. And... That would unlock what kind of shop? Spears, of course. Very neat, though. Very neat. Again, kind of mean. Let's see. Yeah, there isn't much, so we'll just do these. Do our level ups right. and see. Now then, let's see what the flowers say. Option one, option two, option three. Really? Cynthia, why are you plucking the petals off that poor dandelion? Oh, hello, Father. You're just the person I wanted to see. I'm using the flower fortunes to choose an entrance flourish for the next battle. But I'm still having troubles deciding, so I need to know what you think. Dear, I don't know anything about flower fortunes or entrance flourishes. Well, then, let me just lay them out and you can decide what sounds best. The first option is to ignite a huge plume of purple smoke and come racing out of it. Right. Oh. Option two is to step onto the battle the field amidst a shower of fluttering violet petals. <laughs> He actually said, I see. Option three is to... S <laughs> this is the end, friend. <laughs> Option three is to suddenly burst out of a farmhouse in the middle of the battlefield. Hey, so what do you think, Father? What would you prefer? Oh. Well, I suppose if I had to choose, maybe the falling petals one. <laughs> Wait, truly? Well, that's a surprise. I didn't think it was your style at all. But if that's what you want, I'll start collecting petals. What? Cynthia, this entrance you're planning, it isn't for me, is it? Yep. Of course it is, silly. Why else would I ask your opinion? <laughs> I'm surprised you chose the flowers, but I'm glad you did. It's my favorite. Wait. No, no wait. Uh, just a moment. Uh, what have I gotten myself into? You have an eccentric daughter. That is what. Hello. We're mother and daughter, and yet we're almost the same age. Kind of a weird feeling, huh? Still, I'm sure we can be friends. Mm -hmm. Friends? But that won't do it all. You're still my superior. In battle, you mustn't hesitate to issue me orders just like any other soldier. <sighs> But you're not just like any other soldier, are you? No, we shall be friends, and you'll speak to me as an equal. Hmm. Truly? You won't think me too forward? You won't be insulted? No. Of course not. That's a relief. See, I told myself if there's one person I mustn't annoy, it's mother. Huh? Am I really so intimidating? Yep. Well, in my time, you're a true legend, the most famed Pegasus Knight of all. There's so many stories of your heroic and terrible deeds. Like when you smashed through the enemy lines to rescue a stricken Krom. Or did I do that? Or that time you argued with Krom and slapped him in the face? Gods above, I sound like a madwoman. Or that time you went into a blood frenzy and downed friend and foe alike. I downed friends? That's not heroic at all. The point is I was raised on such stories and they gave me strength and inspiration. I guess I'm going to need to be more selective about which historians I talk to. <laughs> Poor Sumia. They just, like, threw her under the bus. And now... First you... Master Seal for the Vake. He can become a Berserker or a Warrior. Hmm. I feel like I should go Warrior. That way, he has options. He'll have the Bullion taking forever, so might as well. Not like we need the Bullion taking. And now he looks like a true warrior. Because he just has a slightly fluffier collar. What, Teach? 
Watch Teach take you through the motions. Let's see. Next is Lucina. Master Seal. Great Lord, do it. We'll do it. Because why not? You shall become a great, great lord. Honestly, surprised she could... Uh, she didn't have the option to become a great tactician like me. Hell yeah. Do you also have the... Fire Emblem on your... Uh, like, Fire Emblem shield? Or is it just normal shield? Perhaps change is my best hope. No, that's just a cool shield. Let's see. Who's next? Anigo. You shall become... Let's see. Hero or Bow Knight? I just feel like doing Hero more for these kinds of guys. Yeah, we're gonna make you a Hero. We already have three, but eh. I just realized I haven't had Long Ku in my army in a long time. Booyah! Oh, I look good in this pop popularity. Here I come! And the use of axes. Was there anybody else? No, I don't think so. Just people coming close, but not just yet. Then I suppose that shall do it for now. I might do experience grinding in the one place, but... Other than that, next time we will venture out to try and do more of these, because there's one, two, three, four, and then a lot over here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. There's going to be so many. We're going to have to find so many. We have to go and do so much. But I really like this idea where you pair up soldiers... And then, like, ha I assume halfway through the game, you find, like, their future children. I'm not sure how the future children... It seems-ish like the future children are more based on the mothers, it seems, compared to the fathers, maybe? I don't know. Especially considering that, like, at least most of the mothers... Like, it's weird how some of them... Like, obviously hint, like, ah, yes, th this is their child, like, Inigo. Like, Olivia had no reason to show up in the opening to Inigo's paralogue, but she did. Meanwhile, Sully didn't get that at all. She didn't show up. You just had to guess. So, like, it, 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 I do like that you can send the mothers to talk to them for unique dialogue. And then I assume Krom is the universal you can recruit with him person. But yeah, it's super cool. I also like how they seem to have unique, like, uh, dialogues with their fathers regardless. Then again, it's possible. Because it is possible, I suppose, that maybe they are generic in the sense that they kind of just slot in the reactions for the most part. I don't know. We'll have to see. No, because maybe... Because Lan Ku was kind of central to Lan Ku and in ego, but who knows? It's just very interesting. Very, very interesting. And we'll just have to wait and see what other craziness happens, who other characters come out to be. And it's also a very interesting way of like giving you new recruitable characters, even though I feel like, because one problem does arise by the fact that you have to pair up characters. They have to get to S rank together for these paralogs to happen, as seen with what I presume to be Cherish's uh, and Vike's, like, uh, descendant. Because that paralog only happened, uh, popped up on its own after they got to S rank, which I guess doesn't really force you to speedrun it, but, like, if you want to get all the characters and then level them up and do stuff like that as you go along, the longer you put off doing the paralogs, and therefore the longer you... Uh, the, the longer that you put off getting characters to S rank, 
the less likely that you will, like, actually get the children characters before they're, like, just more of a pain to level up than anything, which I guess is what the DLCs were for, but kind of, uh, like, unless they were free DLCs, which I'm uncertain of. Because I, thanks to the diddly D 3DS shop being down now, I'll never know. I don't think they were free, though. Like, maybe the Heroes of Yore could have been a free one? Maybe? But it's also entirely possible that the Outrealms, like, entirely is just DLC, which kind of pay to win in terms of the, like, going and you go do the grinding of the experience and the money a little pay to win. Especially the level up, because some characters level up so goddamn slow. But hibbledy pibbledy. Aside from that, yeah, I really like the concept. I... I honestly doubt that there would be, like... If you get S rank with the children characters, other more children characters show up. I think that would be too recursive Lupin. Especially because it's... Like, unless... Hmm. I want to check and see something now. Who can get S rank with these characters? Let's see. Anigo. Uh, he can S rank. It seems that he can only S rank the Avatar and then the other future children. Which, honestly, good. I think it would be a little weird to be like, Vike going. Then again, Lucina, who can you? It seems, uh, similarly that. She can only form relationships with the other future children. Good. That mitigates it being weird. But, yes, I think that shall be it for now. Very much fun. Very much yes. It is very good. I love the gameplay. Though I do feel like Cynthia's paralogue is a little bit of a bitch. Especially if you're playing on Classic. Because, I guess... Like... Considering that she thinks that the fake Krom is Krom, obviously, then it's possible that maybe you need Sumia to recruit her? I don't know. It just feels like a bit of a dick move to put so many ranged enemies, especially Bowman, not only in the direction of her, so it's a pain to get Sumia to her, but also by the fact that she then is also in danger of very high-level ranged bowman attacks. It's just kind of a dick move from the design side. Like, it would be one thing if there was, like, archer-like mercenaries that start coming down if you let... Like, that would be one thing. If it was kind of a journey to get there and the fake Krom hired mercenary bowmen that charged down where Cynthia was, that would be one thing. But the fact that you have to get to her without killing her because she's an enemy and therefore you need to get to her without counterattacking, basically, or have very... Like, you can't have a weak character go up there because strong enemies surround her. It just feels like a very annoying design decision, personally. I feel like it's not bad because it's meant to be a challenge, but it's just kind of dick design. Like, ha ha ha. It would be, it's already one thing to surround it with high-level strong enemies. But to specifically surround it with, like... Because in this game, in this game, the weapon triangle is fucking worthless. I say it. In this game, like, if you do even the most minute amount of grinding, and, like, I think even before that, the weapon triangle isn't all that important. It's a small boost, is what it is. It's a small boost to make sure that you hit more. Like, I really, I think that's all it is. It's like, you have a h higher chance to hit with those weapons, and if you use the proper weapon against an enemy, they have a less chance to counterattack you. Which is neat. 
but at the same time, that really is all that it is. It's not like a super doof... It's not like Pokemon, where you're guaranteed a super effective attack against them or anything. Meanwhile, <laughs> then you have things like the Bowman, which get bonus damage so hard, especially if they're high level. It's just mean. Just mean. So yeah, I might do some grinding in the experience booth. But other than that, I think things should be good. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. One is Neon Icy Wings for edited content, which uh, I swear content is coming soon, sometime in the future. And um, it has things like video essays, reviews, thoughts and opinions, and general edited scripted content. And then I have the gaming channel, Neon Icy Games in which I upload all these various games and streams, as well as live stream too. So if you want to watch me play games live on YouTube, you can. And then you can catch the backlog of the various streams and games that I've played, like the Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Undertale, so many games. And then if you prefer to watch me play games live on Twitch, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. In other places of creation, if you like my little character in the corner, I do some drawing and upload all those drawings to the various art sites of the world, like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, uh, Inkblot, Pillowfort, so many sites now because social media is fractured into hell. And all of those links can be found in my link tree with the direct link found in descriptions, bios, and link places of the relevant websites, with the link itself being linktr.ee slash neonicywings. In there, you can find links to all those sites, as well as to my writing and my Patreon. So if you want to throw me a dollary do to aid against the darkness of reality, you can. As well as see the various fictions that I've created, if that is also your style. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.